Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to work with images. With Trace, you can integrate images into your project in thoughtful ways, including adding images to any drawing, modifying and erasing images, sketching on top of photos, and transforming and skewing your images. Be sure to watch the entire video for a special hidden bonus feature at the end. Let's get started. Today we're looking at some amazing drawings by Kritika Thakur, a designer and architectural illustrator who has created some amazing drawings with images all in Trace. To start working with images in Trace, you first need to add them to your project. In this case, we have a scale plan that we have started to populate with lots of different images and textures that you can see throughout this drawing. The next thing that we want to do is add a plant to the balcony over here. So what I'll do is tap the add image button right here in my layer toolbar. I will select my library and then find the plant that I want to add, which is this one. I will drop it right into the project here. I can resize it when it comes in. One thing to note is that there is no background on the image and that's because you can also bring PNGs with transparent backgrounds, which make it really easy to add into your projects. Hit the check. And now, just like that, I have added this plant into my drawing and I can continue working. After you've added an image to your project, you can continue to modify it. If you go to your layer actions button for the image layer that you want to modify, you'll see all of these different options. You can adjust the image opacity, you can also do things like mirror the image. If we want to move this shadow part to the left side of the image, I can simply mirror it. And now I've flipped it over. And this chair is pretty big for this scene, so I'll go ahead and scale and place it. The first thing that I can do is pinch it to size. But if I want a little bit more control over how large this chair is, I can simply use these on the end to resize it exactly how I want it. I can grab the antenna to rotate it into place as well and move it along exactly where I want it. Slight adjustment here. And that feels pretty good for me. Hit the check. And now this has been saved. And the last thing that I'll do is tap and hold on this layer to have it pop up. And then I can rearrange its order so that it fits nicely under the desk. If you've been enjoying this tutorial, please grab your Apple Pencil and tap the like and subscribe buttons. This means so much to our small team and is a huge help. In addition to modifying images, you can also use all the tools in your brush toolbar to remove parts with your eraser or add drawings on top of your images. To start, go to your wrench setting and make sure that edit images is toggled on. This will allow you to use your eraser to remove parts of your drawing. I'll then turn on my eraser and turn on the ruler. I'll move it out of the way here and I'll select this layer by double tapping on it to make sure that it's the active one. And then I'll simply use my eraser to start removing parts of this image. You can see that I can fluidly remove parts and when I want to get a little more accuracy, I can bring over the ruler, line it up, and maybe I know that I want about two feet for this wardrobe. So I'll go ahead and erase that part. The next thing I'll do is and line this up with the bottom of the rug here. And so now when I remove this part of the drawing, I am able to accurately cut out this part. Now I'll go ahead and grab a much larger eraser size so I can start to erase and remove parts of this drawing. And now you can see that I'm only left with the part of the drawing that I want. Now what I can do is grab my technical pen and start to add some lines on top of it. First, I'll start by just adding the outline of the wardrobe here. And what I'll go in and do is maybe I want to draw in some clothing lines just to help sketch out and represent that this is where the clothes will be hung. So I'll first draw a line in the center where the rack will be. 
and then I'll go in and go to my ruler settings and toggle on infinite angle so I can start to draw some lines off of the ruler's angle. So I'll draw them here, all sorts of ones, maybe a little different angles. Now let's say that I want to kind of clean these lines up though so that they're a little bit more regular and uh, I want to go back and use the eraser just to erase these lines. And when I erase, you'll see that I'm erasing both the image and the drawing. To resolve that, what I can do is go back to my wrench, toggle off edit images, and now when I grab my ruler, I'll make my ruler a little bit smaller. Also go back here and turn on the 90 degree snap. Now you can see when I go in to erase the line work, only the line work is being deleted and the image is staying intact because I've turned off the edit image function here. And just like that, I've been able to successfully integrate drawing and image right on top of each other on this same layer. One of the most exciting ways to use images in Trace is with the transform tools to skew them into a perspective drawing. What we're looking at here is a photograph that was taken on site and some perspective line work that was drawn around it to start building up this drawing collage. The next thing we want to do is to start to add some materials to the walls to make this space come alive and see what it's going to transform into. We'll of course go in and add an image. In this case, I'll pick this white tile. And what is important here is that you always want your image to be larger than the area that you are going to add it into. So I know that this is the kind of general area where I'm going to add this tile into. So I'm just going to make sure that my image layer is larger than that. That way when I skew and manipulate it, it all fits on top of that region. I can go ahead and hit the check here. And now is where the fun begins. The first thing I'm going to do is select my layer. And then I'm going to use my selection lasso to select this image. I really like working with the square or rectangular marquee here because it gives you a really great way to select images, especially for modification like this. And once you have this image selected, you can of course resize it. And I'm gonna hit the reset button here. But if you tap on this button here, all of your different transform options will appear. The first thing we'll do is select freeform. And what I'm going to do is move this pattern in half. Um, so that way I can duplicate it and double it in this area because I know that I want double the amount of tiles to go from the floor to the ceiling. I'm going to duplicate this selection and then I'm going to add it right on top of this image. I'll zoom in a bit to get it the way I want it. And again, remember I'm just using the lasso tool and the transform tools to do all this. And I'll tap outside to confirm that change. And now I'll go in one more time and select everything now that I know that I have the right amount of tiles that I am looking for. And I'll go back to my transform options and select the distort 3D. Now what this will allow me to do is now each of these corners can be modified and moved so I can fit this image into the perspective skewed region that I want. So I'll go ahead and move these into the corners here. And I'm just gonna roughly fit them in first because I'll go back in with a little bit more precision now after I zoom in to get them right in the corners where I want them. So I got that one lined up. Now I can zoom in over here, line that one up. One thing to note is that I'm always moving around my image with two fingers outside of the region because if I move in here, I'll move the image itself and I don't wanna do that because now I might have to reset these other points, but I don't need to. You can keep modifying here, get that one set up the way I want it. And the last one actually looks pretty good. I'll just zoom out now to make sure. Tap outside to confirm my changes. And now you can see I have manipulated and moved, skewed that image into the correct perspective that I want. And I can continue doing that for all of my walls. I'll go ahead and move this behind all of these other layers by tapping and holding on it till it pops up and then moving it down here. 
And now I'll turn on the other layers that I've kind of already worked on here to show you how this drawing can be built up with some drawing layers like this, uh, where we've added in some kind of blue sky to add in a skylight, some fixtures, these are images that we've added in, a little bit of drawing to show a dividing wall here, an image of a toilet, a little bit of wood texture and marble, adding in a mirror and a light, a basin, all of these different elements to really bring this drawing to life. And uh, how beautiful is that? Just like that, with adding images in, mixed with drawing, you can go in and turn off this here. Um, we've been able to create this really amazing perspective, collage, and illustrate the idea of the bathroom from the plan that we were just looking at. Now here's a really cool bonus tip. In addition to being able to add images with the button up here, you can also use Apple's copy and paste plus lift to pull out any element from an image and bring it right into trace. So we'll start by going to the photos app and let's look at this image here that I've generated using an AI generator. And let's say I just wanna take this person from this scene and add it into my sketch collage. All I have to do is use the lift feature by lightly tapping and holding on the part of the image that I want. Apple automatically cuts that out for me. All I have to do is tap copy. And now if I go back to trace and I just press and hold on any area, you'll see a paste button comes up. I can paste this image in and now I can just simply locate it where I want to have it, um, which this area here is pretty good. Maybe instead of facing this way though, I want this person to face the other direction so I can go into my image actions, mirror this figure around, and then do a little bit of scaling and placing to get this person into the exact location that I want. And now just like that, I've been able to quickly lift the person out of one image, drop it into my trace project and complete this perspective with this person super, super easily. And so these are some fun and easy ways to work with images in Morfolio Trace. We can't wait to see how you use these tools. So please share your work. And when you do tag Morfolio Trace so we can see your work and feature it. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.